imagine that we live in a world where everything is made of toothpicks. What would you be like as a toothpick engineer? What am I talking about? Let's say I gave you a challenge. I have a wall here which just happens to be the height of four toothpicks, exactly four toothpicks. Do you think you could build a tower that reaches a height of four toothpicks if I give you just six toothpicks to begin with? You might say, mm-hmm, if I'm going to be an engineer, I'll have to remember all those things that I've noticed in bridges. Very often they use triangles as stable structures to build the bridges. That's quite right. And if you build the most stable structure you can using triangles, you'll end up with something that's this shape. There we are, it has a triangle on the bottom, and it has one, two, three triangles on the side. And it doesn't matter which way you look at it, it looks almost the same. It's called a tetrahedron, and it's one of the most stable three-dimensional structures known. Trouble is, we've used up our six toothpicks and if we stand it against the wall, we find that it's nowhere near the height of the four toothpick wall. So we fail. Well, you might say, we can't afford to use all six toothpicks to make a stable base. Let's say we use just four of them. There we are, we put four in a cross like that. That certainly makes a stable structure. And then the remaining two, we can make them come straight up the center like that. It's certainly higher than the tetrahedron. Let's see if it stands by itself. Yes, it does. Try it against the wall and we find, oh, it only reaches halfway. So that doesn't solve the problem either. In looking at that, you might well say, why do we have to have the four flat on the ground? Why not bring them up a little? If you want to do that, you'd end up with a structure that looks very much like this. Those two are similar in the way the toothpicks are joined together, but in this second one here, you can see that we've gained more height because of the way we've arranged the four toothpicks at the base. And it's still quite stable. Maybe it reminds you of something else you've seen. Does it? The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower was built in Paris in 1889, and for many years it was the tallest structure in the world. And it has four legs at the base, and most of it goes straight up the middle. So it's very much like this toothpick tower. But why waste four legs for the base? You know as well as I do that a camera tripod has just three legs, and that's quite stable. So let's make another tower, this time with three toothpicks for the base, leaving us three toothpicks to give us the height of the tower. And you can see now that we're almost up to the top of the wall. We're still a little bit short though. In fact, the only way we're going to reach the top is if we can somehow or other make a base, not with three toothpicks, but with just two. That seems like a, an impossible request, doesn't it? There are two toothpicks as a base. What happens if we try and stand that up? Well, it falls over. Doesn't matter how careful we are in trying to make it stand upright, it'll fall one way or the other. Is there something we can do to those two toothpicks that are flat on the ground to make that thing stand? Can you guess? There is something quite simple that we can do. We can bend them towards one another like that. When we do that, we find that the thing does stand there. So we can make a base of just two toothpicks, leaving us four out of the total of six. Let's see if we can make those stand up. And if they will stay there, we may have solved the problem. There we are, it stands. All that remains is to see if that does reach the top of the wall. And it does, so we pass as toothpick engineers. And I'm sure the people who built those ancient pyramids in Egypt would also have passed the test. Music